Well hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you are well. I've got for us today just your normal sort of wood burner, multi-fuel stove. Um, I'm going to make a video of this one because if I remember correctly this one gets a lot of use and we need to use a slightly different brush than normal. Uh, cable loop. Uh, I think this flue is a lot more tarry than um, the other one that they have uh, and, uh, because this one's on all the time basically and uh, I think I uh, swept it last year and I had to do it twice because um, I didn't use a rough enough brush. So, I thought I'd give it a video, something a bit different. I'll show you something while I'm here. Look, this one is, um, it's got the register plate. And, let me move the fan. And up in there, right at the top, right at the top there is the, uh, Sump adapter as it goes into the clear liners. And so it's not a flexible liner this one, it's trying to clear. Which is nice and tough and can give them a good scrub. I've got you fastened to my toolbox so if I knock you, I apologise. So this one's got a metal baffle and it's, you can't get it out without removing one of these side plates. So. What I wanted to show you before on another video of the st of a stove with a, an access hatch is use one of these, stick it on the on the uh, the metal side plate or whatever you want to move. Gives you a handle. And you can easily remove it. Just put it to the side. There we go. So I'm not going to um, take the baffle out because the back brick. Yeah, we'll get all that later. Yeah. So I'm going to sweep it first. So what I want to do is uh, have a quick look up the chimney. I need my mirror. He was hooked to my mirror. Okay. Mirror, torch, extra bright, lots of soot, and if we look at the soot here, it's the, get rid of that torch, it's too bright, sort of lumpy, it's quite hard that, it's like just solid tar. In fact, you can squeeze it and <laughs> it's soft-ish. So, I think I've made the right car with the uh, this brush. So, let's get set up. And my van is outside running because the dog's in it. And um, it's quite warm today, so the air conditioning's on full blast for her. Something. You can see it all falling off now, it's quite thick. Yeah, horrible. I used the whip head on the last chimney in the kitchen, but I won't be needing that here. Crikey, look at that. That baby on. La -dee -da -da -dee. Right, 
and there's some light doing to it. I've ordered us a new torch because uh, my other one, the ring one, decided to uh, stop working. And when my new one arrives, I, I will show you it. And we'll give it a... Uh, give it a bit of a test because uh, they don't seem to last long in this game I think that the soot gets into the um, the LED strip and kills them shorts them out but whatever we'll keep getting them till we find a good one Let's see what comes out. Vacuum on. I'm using my 12mm um, rods from Rod Station. That's rubbish, isn't it? Um, I was reading on a, on a forum, sweeps talking about rods and a lot of the sweeps, including me, uh, really like these 12mm rods. You can sweep some, you know, you can sweep some um, big masonry chimneys with these, because they seem a little bit stiffer than some others. I really like them. Drill, drill. Yeah, fuck him on. I do like these um, rod station rods a lot. The brushes I've got, most of them apart from two or three, maybe two, they're all from uh, um, the other one, um, Snaplock, um, rotary power sweeping. And, uh, and I prefer the brushes so far. Um, so I have a combination of RPS brushes and um, rod station rods. I'm just going to shove it up to the bad guard. I'm just going to um, mm -hmm. pop outside and check it's in the uh, cowl and while I'm doing that I've left some sheets in the kitchen I'm going to pick those up and fold those up put them away and then I'll be back one moment awesome 
Let's send the bird guard there. The sheets are away. So we can carry on the sweeping. Yeah. So I'm basically rotating it, watching it through the sheet. And I'm just, uh, as stuff stops falling down, then I move the brush down. Giving it a bit more speed. I don't know if you can see, but the soot's changed. Uh, at the very top, it is um, quite tarry. Um, and then now I'm a bit further down, it's more powdery. And that's because it's cooler at the top and you get a lot more creosote sort of build up where it's cooler further down it's a lot drier less condensation so the soot builds up more powdery so you can see that change then I don't know if it was obvious on the camera Okay, we're in the flue pipe now. There we go. 
beautiful um, drill away. Okay, sorry about that. I was distracted by my phone. Customer texting me. Yeah, model te modern technology, eh? It's good and bad at the same time. Okay, so stink of this chimney because of that creosote. Oh, it's a bit whiffy. Whiffy. All right, okay. Illumination. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. We might be able to see the uh, layers of soot. Uh, Okay, or not, I don't know. Let's have a look. Have a look at the soot, it's a lot finer on the top here. It's a lot finer, powdery, powdery. And then if I just dig underneath, you can see it's a lot more uh, chunky. Just a little bit. And that was that change in the chimney, the finer stuff's at the bottom. All right, anyway, let's get it back to up and move on. There we are. Got to be careful of your cable loop because if you've got a, a pot, you can only use these on masonry chimneys. So generally clear liners or concrete liners, you do not want to use this on um flexible liners at all if you can help it but i mean one day you might have to don't know i would say you can probably use it on twin wall but if you're careful but because they've got loops if you've got a crown pot and you push it out of the top of the pot as you bring it down that loop can hook over the the points on the crown and uh, you never get it back be careful i've not done it honest Nice big lump. Yeah, the big lump of stuff's at the bottom here.
So I was asked a question uh, by someone. How many sweeps I do a day and uh, I don't really want to answer it that, like like that you know because um, you can do as many as you want you know once you've set your business up correctly and you've got a bit of a name and you're advertised correctly you know, and you might have been around a little while. You can do as many as you want. You know, how many hours in the days are you? You'll. Oh, that's really sticky and horrible. Um, so the answer is really as many as you want. You know, and you know, but you've got to maintain a good. You know, you can't just work all the time. It's not good for you. So I would say, I would say you need to work as much as you, that produces enough money that you need. Um, and then you need some time off. So I don't know. I don't think there is an answer. Now, I was talking to a sweep uh, from a different part of the country and he was saying he's been told that some sweeps do 10 a day. Yeah, can you do 10? Probably. You know, I don't know how many hours you're going to have to put in to get through them 10. And then I was talking to another sweep, or two actually, two had the same sort of... You know, they liked four and five a day, a maximum of six. Um, you know, I don't think you're going to last long doing ten a day. And some people will tell you you can do ten a day if you buy this equipment. And that's rubbish. I'm not saying that I didn't do 10 a day, but I bet they don't do it every day. Personally, I like to go out at about 9 o'clock and get home as early as I can. <laughs> Got a new brush. Sorry if I'm in the way.
this customer burns wood and smokeless coal and you can tell this is the amount of tar and you can see the sulfur build up on the top of this baffle plate here look. What do I need? I need my torch and I need my mirror which I've put down somewhere Where are you mirror? I see it There we are, it should have been in my toolkit shouldn't it? How naughty Which is fine. It curves off a little bit to the right so you can't see all the way up. Stand that baby up. that one in and then the baffle oh, everything's so heavy oh, I'm so weak Have a rest. You've got to lift the baffle up to get the, the side plate. Is that in? Is it heck? Hang on. Scroll driver. position Anyhow, that's one done. Uh, door seals are a bit rough, but uh, I think this is working okay. I think the guy changes them himself, so we'll leave that to happen. Um, I've just got to move over the top of the stove because I failed to do that at the beginning because I'm a failure. Um, um, yeah. Oh, that's better. That's better. And a bit on there. A bit on there. There was in there, so that's what I'm going to do. Move around. Move everywhere. Move
Mr. Bit. So there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it's basically a straightforward sweep, but just with a rougher brush. Um, you know, you've got to get that tar off um, if you can. Um, it's a bit more strenuous on your drill and battery, but, you know, it's doable. Um, yeah, so if you've got any questions on that one or any comments or, you know, a like on the video if you liked it and possibly subscribe to the channel if you uh, haven't already um, you know and I can keep making more videos for you if you enjoy it gives me good feedback um, yeah so I'll see you on my next one take it easy have a great day bye